We are not afraid. As our former we mayor once said to me afraid. so often, Sacramento is not Ferguson, but yes, we are just like Ferguson. We shall overcome. We are hurt. We shall and a mother has lost her son. And the entire, entire Clark family structure has changed forever. I do believe we shall... Police officers have a very tough job. They put their lives on the line, and at the same time, they have an awesome power to take a life. We shall live in peace. Stephon we Clark was murdered twice. Wow. First by the police officers who murdered him in his grandmother's own backyard. Mm. Then again today by our district attorney who assassinated, she assassinated his character. And then all of his personal information today was dragged out. He was publicly humiliated post-mortem. Oh, deep in my heart. Messages of healing go out to the community. I ask you, how does a community continue to hear healing when we have not seen justice? We don't even realize what this justice looked like. So how can you tell me to heal? We shall live in peace someday. Now, from both of these events, there are two significant things that, that, this, that the community is focusing on. The first one, and Mayor Steinberg touched upon this multiple times, involves use of force laws in California that date back to 1872, more than a century old. He is supporting legislation that's currently making its way through the state capitol that would tighten those use of force laws, essentially making officers only able to use deadly force when absolutely necessary and when there is no other alternative. Now, following that, there is also a focus on what will happen with these officers in terms of disciplinary action and in the most extreme case being fired from the department. That'll come from Chief Hahn. He will refer that to the city manager following an internal review. Live at City Hall, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News. Okay, Vicki, thank you for the update.